is Gabe Taviano. I live in Siem Reap, Cambodia. I'm a landscape photographer. Um, today we'll be talking about portrait photography. Uh, I do a little bit of that. Um, but first, um, I created a new intro for the channel this week. Uh, if you guys can let me know what you think. I hung out in After Effects uh, for a little while um, and enjoyed uh, working in 3D space, like on the computer and making the photos uh, move around the screen. So let me know what you think. Um, but I'd like to give you guys, uh, the subscribers, if you guys can comment, let me know um, this week what your favorite genre of photography is. I would like to kind of see uh, where everyone's coming from and releasing tutorials in the future. And I'll pick a random winner this week and connect with you and uh, go ahead and give you a free gift um, that correlates with your um, favorite genre of photography. Uh, so this week we're looking at portrait photography with Luminar. And I'll show you what a landscape photographer like myself um, can easily do uh, with portraits. I've got three photos. We'll look at three photos and, and try different things with each one. Um, but before that, let's look at a few uh, links. So yeah, please um, leave any comments if you have any questions uh, about this video today. But if you also want to connect with me, I'm on Facebook, uh, Gabe Taviano Photography. And Instagram, Gabe Taviano um, you can connect with me there and look through um, a few hundred photos <laughs> that I have there, and I enjoy that. But uh, be sure to like uh, Skylum Software on Facebook, follow along uh, with them, uh, see what they're doing as they continue to improve um, the software that they're providing for us. I uh, really enjoy Luminar 4 and Aurora HDR uh, 2019, um, are two of my favorite pieces of software. Um, if you want to connect with other photographers, uh, Skylum um, has a group called Skylum Photography, and it's, uh, it allows us uh, photographers to connect with each other. I've been able to meet uh, other Skylum uh, photographers um, in different countries, and uh, it's a good place to study photography, ask questions, um, and just admire you know, the creativity and the work that other people are, are doing. So I strongly suggest uh, joining that group. If you want to, um, you know, look at a lot of photography, I do have a store, uh, GabeTaviano.ShootProof.com, and um, I'm going to leave a link in the in the description of the video. Uh, this is my store. I have a few hundred photos uh, for sale. You can purchase digital downloads and um, purchase uh, fine art prints on my store. Um, you can look through that if you want to look through a lot of a lot of photos. Um, as a photographer that's something that I, I really encourage is you know always uh, always improve your skills um, but don't ever stop um, studying other people's work and learning from what other, other people are doing. Um, but I use Shootproof. Uh, I've got a link you can try it out for free but it's ten dollars a month and you can upload up to one thousand five hundred photos and have your own store and connect it with a print lab and they'll ship all your prints out for you um, I'm connected with Bay, uh, Bay Photo that's the lab that I use and it works really well for me so I'll put all that information in the description but today we're talking about Luminar 4 and it releases uh, November 18th um, and I'll also have a link to that if you guys want to go ahead pre-order that um, at a special price before it releases to the public on uh, November 18th. Um, so thanks to Skylum for giving me a, uh, a beta copy and we're going to jump into that now and look what we can do with portrait photography. Okay so I have three photos. These are all um, raw photos from my Sony Alpha camera. Uh, I'm going to show you different techniques uh, within Luminar 4 here. Um, I really like this software uh, and how easy and quick it is to apply these changes. So let's look at this photo. Um, this is my daughter at her engagement uh, this, this year in Cambodia. And for this one, I want to go ahead and uh, crop it. That'd be the first thing I want to do. So over here under Canvas, you can click uh, Crop and Rotate. And keep it at the original, I'll keep it at the original ratio, aspect ratio there, crop close to her face. Don't like this red over here in the carpet. So I'll bring that up and maybe do something like that until her face is, you know, in the middle. So we'll go with that and click Done. Over here, if you look on the right side, there's Essentials, uh, Creative, and Portrait. And today I'm going to go ahead and show you the Portrait Enhancer and what this is able to do um, 
with the face lighting. Um, if you look down through here, there's face, red eye, whitening of the eyes, dark circles remover, slimming the face, enlarging the eyes, improving the eyebrows and the lips and the teeth down here. Um, a lot of things, but Luminar quickly recognizes what the face is. I don't have to select it. And so when I move this uh, face light slider around, you can see the further I go to the right, it is automatically adding um, light like exposure to uh, the face right there. So I'll, I'll go around 70, 72, 70. And that, looks, that looks good. No need to do anything with the red eyes. The eye whitening, you can do that maybe a little bit. And it, you can see it automatically recognizes the eyes there. But I'm not going to do much. Um, don't need to enhance the eyes um, with, this, with this photo. Dark circles, maybe just a little bit. And you can look under the eye there. You can see the darkness and the shadows kind of go away. I'll go all the way up to 100, and you can see they're, they're all the way gone. I like it a little bit just to keep it natural. I don't want it to, to make it look um, fake. Slim the face. I don't want to do that. Um, she looks fine. I don't need to slim her face or enlarge her eyes. But if I did, I could make her eyes larger and back to smaller and normal. And it will increase that. Eyebrow improvement. Um, you'll see the, the eyebrows get a little bit darker, and it increases the contrast right where the eyebrows are. Lip saturation. You can see the lips getting more pink there. You can turn increase redness. There you can see it adding a little bit more vibrance with the red color. I'll do a little bit with that. And then teeth whitening. I'll crank that all the way up, let you see that. Look at that. Um, I don't want to do it that much. A little bit might be okay. You know, maybe 25. And there you go. But I'm not done with this photo. This is just I'm just working with the face there, so now I want to work with the other parts of the photo. But that lets you see how easily you're able to work with the face, especially if you are a, a portrait photographer or a wedding photographer, and the face is obviously the most important part of the portrait. Let's look at skin enhancer um, underneath the portrait category here. And skin enhancer, um, I'm able to go ahead and increase this, and you'll see... Uh, the skin is smoothing out um, there. There it looks, it adds a little bit of a, a glow to it. I, I like it, it's okay, but maybe down around 50. Um, let's go to like 50. Okay, there we go, and it smooths the skin out. Okay, so what I want to do is, is the overall photo is a little bit underexposed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add a new adjustment layer and rename that to exposure and go into um, light over here under essentials and increase the exposure. You can bump it all the way up. And you'll see it go really high. I'll bring it down until I want, I want to watch the histogram and bring it down until the exposure is about right. That looks pretty good. So close that layer and go into a new adjustment layer. And I want to just focus now, um, rename this layer. I want to focus on the dress and the gems and the details in the dress. I kind of want to make those pop a little bit. Um, and so what I want to do is uh, maybe increase the highlights um, with those gems. There's some, some uh, highlights in the gems I want to pop and a little bit of exposure in the dress. A little bit higher than the rest of the photo. Maybe not that much. Maybe down to 0.2. Um, and now the next thing I want to do with the details is I want to go inside of Essentials here down into Details Enhancer. And I want to go into the Medium Details and see if that is able to pull out. Um, you can see those details in the dress now coming out. And try a little bit with the large details. There you go. Now you can really see that popping out. But I don't like you know that being applied to the whole photo. So I would go back up to this layer and edit the mask on this layer and just brush brush um, those uh, changes uh, into just the dress area. So use my left bracket. I'm using paint up here. Use my left bracket and just paint these changes into the dress. Now I'll show you, it, it might not look great right now, but you can see 
I'm painting those details into the dress like this very quickly, very easily. Luminar 4 is you know, doing a great job. You can obviously see the details. Watch paint here on this dress. And if you mess up a little bit, you can go in, click erase, and you know, maybe paint out the parts of the photo that you don't want painted, masked. Um, so there, it looks a lot better. Um, now I want to, I can go back in now that I've adjusted my mask. I can now go back into those uh, changes that I've done, like with the light and with the details. Um, I want to click on light and maybe bring that exposure back down just a little bit there. And now uh, the photo looks really good. So if you want to uh, review um, the changes that you've done, you can always come up here and just click uh, the, the eyeball and you can see the changes there. But I want to show you with the before and after slider what we've done to the photo so far. You can see the smoothness and the light on the face there. And look at the dress and see what um, we were able to do with the dress. And that was very quick. So that's it with photo one. Uh, let's uh, jump over to photo two. When I look at this photo, I took it from above. Luminar um, will probably not be able to recognize the face in this because she's not looking toward, you know, straight at the camera. She's looking from below. Um, so I'm not going to expect uh, the portrait tool and the portrait enhancer to do the light, the face on the light and, the, you know, eye whitening and all that kind of stuff with recognizing the face. That doesn't matter. I, um, I can adjust this photo very easily and very quickly um, with just the basic tools. So as always, I want to um, start in um, the canvas tool here and do crop and rotate and make sure I get my composition set correctly first. Wanna, now with this photo, um, before I crop it, uh, I want to look and see um, you know, where is the most important part of this photo. To me it's in her eyes. She's looking straight up at the camera. I want that to be where the viewer looks. Um, the dress is really nice. Um, I don't really care for the you know this dirt and all this stuff on the outside. I want to focus on her dress and lead people straight into the eye. When I look at her eye, they're not, um, I took this photo, you know, it was unlevel. And so I want to rotate this photo and bring it back uh, to level. And with the crop and rotate tool, I'm able to scale it down like this, but I'm also able to bring the mouse out here and rotate. Just drag there and I want to watch her eyes right here as I rotate this and see where I think um, level when I look at her nose and her eyes right about there. Bring her in the middle and shrink this down um, closer to her so I get rid of all the stuff that is um, kind of grabbing your attention on the outside of the photo. So I would say right about here is good. <coughs> okay, let's try that. That looks about right. I want to make sure I get the level correct, there we go. Get her in the center and press done. Okay, it looks a lot better. Now, um, what I would like to, to try um, first is, uh, I wanna copy, if you see on the top left of the photo, there's so many details in the design of this dress. To me, my eye automatically goes to the top left. And you see there on the top left, um, the dress does not go all the way out to the edge of the canvas. On the other three corners, it does. It's fine. So I want to take care of that with clone and stamp. And inside the canvas tool, we did crop and rotate. Now we go down to clone and stamp. So what, um, what Luminar does is it asks you to set the source of what you want to copy. What you want, like if you're, if you're thinking about a stamp, you kind of soak up the ink in the stamp. Um, what are we wanting to soak up and then stamp, you know, to another location. So I want to look at the details and there's a pattern. I, I see the pattern right here with um, this group and I see that it could probably repeat starting right here. So I would click right here and then come up here and start painting in the corner like that. And there you see we just fixed that. And now we click done and it'll apply that clone and stamp and now that does not distract you from, you know, looking at the face. 
Okay, so now we have a, uh, a nice composition to work with. And to lead uh, the people, you know, to her face, I do want to increase some of the exposure on her face. Um, and I want to apply that to the whole photo. So I can do that on the base layer. That's fine. Just increase the exposure a little bit on the base layer. Not too much, um, just a little bit. Uh, maybe like that. Now the exposure looks really nice. Um, now uh, I will go into uh, the details enhancer on a new layer um, because I only want to apply these details to the pattern of the dress. So we got the clone and stamp there. Now we add a new adjustment layer. Um, rename this to the dress details. And I want to go into essentials and go into details enhancer and increase the medium details. I think um, that will pull these up. Yeah, you can see those details really coming out now in the pattern of the dress. And I'll try the large details a little bit. Yeah, now the pattern is really coming out. I don't think we need to do the small details. Um, yeah, the, we don't need to mess with the small details. We'll leave those at zero. So now you can see those, um, the pattern in the dress is really coming out. So we will edit the mask right here just under Details Enhancer on this tool and um, paint in with paint, paint in the mask um, to just the area that we want to apply the details. You can see now um, painting. I can turn on the mask up here to view it so I can paint more quickly. Get around her there. Bring it down, get close here to her hair. Down here in the right, up into this area, and the bottom left here. Don't miss that, and a little bit missed up here. Now I want to turn the eye off so I can see how it's applied and you can see the details are really popped now. And I want to erase part of the hair here so I don't apply the details to the hair or the or the crown headband area there. Okay. So there. Now and I can increase the details now with that with that area. So um, now I want to work on three more areas of the photo. First area, I want to go ahead and add a new adjustment layer. And let's rename this one to uh, face exposure. So we have dress details, clone stamp, dress details, now face exposure. Go ahead and work on under essentials, under light. So I want to increase the exposure um, for the face. And I, I'll probably apply this to her arms as well with the skin. So I'll increase exposure a little bit there. And also come into Portrait um, and go down to AI Skin Enhancer and go ahead and, and add some of that. And you'll see that skin, the skin is really uh, smoothing out there. And go ahead and go back into Layer and edit the mask. And we're going to brush this in to just the area that we want um, that that exposure and the skin uh, applied to. So I'll go up to paint and paint in this. You'll see as I paint in the face here, you'll see the exposure um, really pop uh, the face out of the off of the photo. It adds, I think, some depth there. So now I think your focus really goes into those eyes. There we go, and go down into the arms here. I'm going to work with the skin there and back up into this arm here. There. There we go. Looks really good. So let's add um, a new adjustment layer. Um, let's, uh, sorry, let's rename this small detail address uh, small details and go into um, 
go into the essentials, go into details enhancer, go into small details and crank those up. And I'm just watching the, her shoulders and watching the chest area. Now you can see those small details really popping, something like that. And now I just want to edit the mask for that tool and paint in with the brush in that area of the photo, which is right up in here in the shoulders, down into here, in this area, and up into this shoulder here. And you can see those details really coming out now. And I would spend more time, you know, with this photo, you know, maybe fixing some of the more cloning and stamping uh, with, you know, strings and different things here, but just showing you guys really quick what it can do. And there we go. One more thing, and then we will be done with this photo. I, uh, that looks great. So let's um, go up to layers, and I'm going to try to um, really bring your focus into the face. Right now, the photo looks a little still a little flat um, and so I'm going to try one more uh, quick thing to uh, bring your focus into the face and to me that uh, uh, an easy way to do that let's rename this layer to uh, vignette so what I would do is uh, go ahead and crank it up Let's go all the way to negative 100 and see what that looks like. Obviously, that is way too harsh, but it lets me see where the vignette is, and you can see what it's going to do right now. It's going to really guide your eyes to the face. I want to work on the size first and the shape of the vignette, and then I can work, come back to the amount and fix that. So the size, you can maybe bring it so it goes all the way out to the edge, go into advanced settings, and work on the roundness and the shape of the vignette. And I kind of want to make it round to go with the shape of the dress surrounding her face and then bring the size in you know maybe down to her face and you can even click choose subject I would do that and go ahead and choose right between her eyes there lead you right down there and feather how do you want it to fade or do you want it to if you bring feather all the way back to negative 100 that shows you a really sharp vignette you go all the way up to positive 100 it really fades out smoothly now I want to go back and you can, the last thing you can do is add a little bit of light to the inside of the vignette, which I would do to about 20. You can see that pops the middle. And then now I want to go back all the way to the beginning and take the amount back out until I like the effect. I don't really care for that, so I would probably go somewhere around you know, maybe 80. And there, I, I think I'm going to choose the subject again and come down to her, her lips there. Now yeah, let's try the nose. I think the nose will work. There we go. And I am done with the photo. So we worked on the details of the dress. We worked on the skin enhancer and the exposure of the face and the, the arms. And we worked on the small details of the shoulders and the chest. And then we added the vignette. And here is the before. And here's the after. Before, after drag across the photo like this before and you can watch the details pop brighter into the center and there's um, there's the after so let's go into uh, photo number three okay so here we have a photo that needs a, a little work with the vertical alignment um, the details in the dress are a little washed out and the exposure is definitely a little uh, too dark for me so let's go ahead, and uh, this is my friend Sotia. Um, the last photo was from above. This photo um, has uh, the foliage and the, the gate there in the background. First thing I want to do um, is uh, crop and rotate. So we'll click that, and it gives us this tool. My aspect is original. I can bring it down close to the top of her hair here. And now I want to bring it vertical and make sure it's not you know off. Um, and tilted and the first thing I would do is look for any vertical lines in the photo I see a gate and I see some lines in the fence in the background there behind the trees um, this gate is tilted over here so I think I would go ahead and just grab the corner and rotate that up to uh, vertical like that there's dirt over here grass over here I don't really care for that I want the focus to be on her um, 
her arms up to her face and then bring the dress into the bottom of the photo down here. So let's bring it close to her hair there and bring it up to something like that and then bring her into the center of the photo. And that's pretty good. Okay, that works for me. Click done. Okay, now we have a composition to work with and we want to um, start working on the light of the photo. So I will create an adjustment layer and just work on, uh, let's rename this to uh, shadows. Go into light under essentials and increase the shadows pop the background, it's a little too dark for me. So I think if we increase the shadows, you'll see the light in the photo looks a lot better and maybe a little bit um, exposure to the whole photo. There, that looks uh, better to me. Um, so now I want to um, work on the details of the dress. So let's, uh, I think I can do this all in one layer. So let's do an adjustment layer here. And we will just call this uh, dress details. Actually, I might work on the headband too, so we'll just call it details. And we'll paint in under essentials, details enhancer, and go into small details and medium details, so crank those up. Now, if you look at the dress, you can really see those details on the dress pop with the small details coming out. The face, the trees, and all this stuff in the background, obviously it's gonna add noise and, and details we don't want added to the photo, but I like what it's doing with the dress, so then I'm just going to edit the mask and brush in uh, those, those uh, changes, bring this down, paint in um, those changes to just the parts of the dress and parts of the photo that I want the details to come out. Okay, so I've got that, and then we can paint in, and look, as I go down in here, there we go. Now I want to do uh, a new layer, uh, add a new layer, and we're going to work on the skin, um, and rename this to skin, um, and also face exposure. So. Let's go ahead and work on some light. Let's increase a little, whoops. Increase a little bit of the exposure. And I'm just watching the face and the arms right now. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. Maybe down to 0.4. And then go um, over into portrait and increase the skin, um, skin enhancer up to about 50. Maybe 40. Okay, and go into the layer and edit the mask with the brush and paint in those changes to um, just that layer. So bring this down and paint in those changes to the face. Like up in here. There we go. And to the arms down into the arms, paint really quick, and then go back in and erase really quick. Right there. Okay, I think it looks a lot better. Um, there's not much else I would do to the photo. Maybe another uh, small vignette to the bottom of the photo, not really to the top. And so let's apply that small vignette and then we'll be finished with this photo. Let's go ahead with this new layer, uh, rename it to uh, vignette. Go under Essentials, go under Vignette here, okay, crank that amount down. Now you can see it, it definitely added uh, darkness, I want to increase the size a little bit. Uh, the roundness, I kind of want it to be a little more like an oval shape and not round, and feather. I want to leave the feather up to about 30, 
increase some inner light just a little bit to maybe 25. 20 would probably work. And then go to choose subject. Keep it up here in this area as the subject. We'll go down maybe about the, in the neck area there. And now I want to go back up to a mount and take that back out and see if that, yeah, that definitely helps bring the focus up to the face. So that's all I would do with this photo. I think it looks great. Um, okay, um, so now I want to come across the photo uh, one last time, let you guys see uh, what we've done with it. Uh, you can come back here and come across the photo. You can see the details. Um, this is the before, and you can see the details and the light um, come here to the face, the arms, and the small details of the dress um, popping off there. So turn that off and look at the before and the after. There's before and there's after. So thank you guys uh, for checking out this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, we'll be back. I'm a landscape photographer. This shows you uh, what a landscape photographer can do uh, in portrait work. Um, so hopefully this helps you guys. If you have any questions at all, let me know. Um, be sure to pick up Luminar um, special price before November 18th. Thank you very much.